Hey guys, Steve here, and today I'm playing around with my GoPro Hero 7. And the one thing I wanted to do with this today is I wanted to set this up as a webcam on my computer. Now that's easy to do if you have a capture card like this Elgato and a micro HDMI cable. But today I'm going to show you how you can stream the live footage from the GoPro directly to your computer. And then you can stream that live stream anywhere on your home network and also stream that footage directly into OBS or to VLC video player. Now all this is done using the software that is built into the GoPro. Right away you can stream directly to Facebook and YouTube and they have a third option to stream to an RTMP server and that's what we're going to use today is that RTMP server and we're actually going to set up an RTMP server directly on our computer using free open source software and the software we're going to be using today is Mona server. This software is only about five megabytes big and you don't have to install anything. There's just an exe file that you start up and then you can stream directly from the GoPro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go download the software from the internet. There's two different zip files you can download. There's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. So based on your computer, download the software that is appropriate for your system. If you have a newer computer like this laptop I have, this is a 64-bit system so that is the software i am going to download i'm going to leave a link down below for you to download the software once you download the zip file unzip it and then inside you'll find the exe file all you have to do is double click the exe file and the software is running that is it next we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn on our gopro and then we're going to take our phone and open up the gopro app next we're going to go ahead and we're going to control our gopro and then we're going to scroll over to where it says live down on the very bottom, there's an option to switch between Facebook, YouTube, and RTMP. We're gonna select RTMP. Next, we're gonna select Set Up Live. At the very top, it's gonna to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Mine is already set up, so it automatically connected. Next, we're gonna enter the RTMP URL. This is gonna be the address of the computer that is running the Mona server. If you do not know how to find the address of your computer, go ahead and open up a command prompt by typing cmd and then type ipconfig and in that window you will see the ip address of your computer so in this url we're going to type rtmp colon slash slash and then the ip address of the computer next right below that we can select the resolution that we want to display we can choose between 720p and 480p next we have the option to choose if we want to save a file directly onto the gopro while it streams as well now i haven't tested this out but this could increase the lag that is displayed between what the camera sees and when it displays on your computer after that we can go ahead and we can hit set up live stream and the next option it has is to go live. In a few seconds, we are now live streaming from the GoPro to our computer. You'll see in the Mona server display window that it now has updated, showing that there is now a live stream. If we look at the GoPro right on the front window, it'll say it's live. And on the back window at the top, there is a red mark that says live as well. So now that we know our stream is live, on our network. Now we're going to use our computer to view this live stream and to do that we're going to use VLC. VLC is a very powerful video player that plays pretty much any sort of file type you'll find. So with VLC open we're going to go up and select media and go down to open network stream. Now there's four tabs here. The third tab says network. So click on network and then once again we're going to type in the RTMP address of our computer. So RTMP colon slash slash the IP address of the computer. Once we do that, we can go ahead and we can hit play. And this will open up the live stream from the GoPro onto our computer. Now what you'll see is there is a little bit of a delay between what goes through the camera and when it displays on our computer screen. And that's gonna take a little bit for the GoPro to send the footage from the GoPro to the network, to the Mona server, have Mona server process it, and then display it on VLC. So that delay might be a little bit of an issue for some people, but I think overall, it's not a big issue. Now, I probably won't be using this uh, webcam if I was live streaming like a video game because what you see in the video game would not sync up with the display that's coming through the GoPro. Next, we're, I'm gonna show you how you can import this live stream into OBS Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up OBS Studio, making sure I do not disable the live stream on the GoPro and that I keep a Mona server running. In OBS Studio, I have my webcam set up that is currently on my computer. If I go down to my sources and hit the plus sign, 
I can select VLC video source. Now, if you do not have VLC video source displayed right there, it might be because you don't have VLC installed. And if that's the case, install VLC, it's free. So click on the VLC video source, give it a name if you want and hit okay. In this next window where it says playlist, we're gonna hit the plus sign. We're gonna add a path or URL. And once again, we're gonna type in that RTMP address. Once we do that, we can go ahead and hit okay and hit okay again. Now it will display the live stream coming from the GoPro. Let me resize this here and I'll show a side-by-side -side comparing the webcam on my computer to the live stream that is coming through the GoPro. You'll see there is a little bit of a delay, but like I said, it's not gonna be an issue. The footage that's coming through here is still amazing. So that's just two examples of what you can do with the live footage that is coming from this GoPro. Right now, the footage is streaming to any device on my network that's listening. Now, I would suggest that if you're gonna be streaming for a long time, that you use a USB cable to power this device while it's running. That way it doesn't shut down and kill your live stream. At the same time, if you're gonna be doing that, I would probably take out the battery as well. That way it's not trying to charge the battery and power the device and possibly overheat it and then it would shut down on its own anyways. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it and found something useful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button so I know that you did and leave any questions or comments you have down below as well and I will try to answer them. So I don't know everything about Mona Server or OBS, but if you have any tips or tricks that you wanna leave for other people, leave that down below as well too and hopefully you'll help somebody else out. And while you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will have more videos coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.